It's hard to imagine the blues without B.B. King. The legendary blues man released over 50 albums with hit songs such as The Thrill Is Gone and Let The Good Times Roll. Born Riley B. King in Mississippi, he worked as a tractor driver in the cotton fields before embarking on his musical career. He began recording in the 1940s and became known as Blues Boy King, and then more simply, B.B. King. In 1956, at the height of his popularity, he played an astonishing 342 one-night stands. He continued a rigorous touring schedule into his 80s. King's persistence and passion for the blues paid off, winning 15 Grammys. It always feels very, very good to go on stage, whether you win a Grammy or not. Throughout the years, King worked with various artists like Rockers U2 on the song When Love Comes to Town and with Eric Clapton on the album Riding with the King. I get a chance to learn a lot of great things from people that have so much going for him today. In 1987, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and was also given a spot on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1990. He was rarely seen without his faithful black lacquered Gibson guitar, Lucille. This is my girl, Lucille. The gifted guitarist became the first blues musician to be honored with the Kennedy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1995. President George W. Bush also honored King in 2006 with the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his musical contributions. Been around a long time, a long, long time. King's health was sometimes a concern since he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in his early 60s. To me, blues is a type of music that's like a tonic. It's good for whatever ails you. In 2012, President Obama hosted a concert celebrating blues music. B.B. King was one of the featured performers. The king of the blues. Mr. Baby King. You only live once, and when you're dead, you die. Let the good times roll. With a career spanning over 50 years, B.B. King let the good times roll. Good times roll. Good times roll.